hello youtube and welcome to another get tutorial so in this video i'll show you how you can view get object using the get cut file command so are you ready let's get started so as you can see here i am inside a hello repo in github okay so let's see what I have inside this repository so I will issue the command ls so it's just a simple repo that contains only a file called readme okay so in order to see the objects in this repo so the tree command is our friend so let's issue the tree command so minus a to see all the files including the hidden ones and we will color that with the command or option capital C then we can hit enter okay here we go so this is our tree related to dot git folder okay so the most important uh, folder here is actually this objects folder here so as you can see it contains some subfolders and finally some files so we're gonna see how we can view or what all those files mean okay so first of all let me just try to grab the file the full file of an object or the full file name of an object actually a file contains a hash as you can see here but the full hash begins with the sub name then this file name so i'll try actually to get the whole file name or the full hash so in order to, to do that uh, i guess find is my friend so i'll type find so i'm interested in dot get slash objects directory okay and here i will just try to display just file names so the type is f here we go so we get our i guess six files path but me, as I told you, I just interested in the subfolder name and file names. Okay, so how can I get that? So as you can see here, it's kind of delimited file names. So I will try actually using the oak command to get rid of the slash here and to concatenate the subfolder name with file name so here we go so i'll try to pipe that to the awk command okay so the option minus capital f so i'll specify slash as delimiter and then i can simply print the columns number three and four okay here we go so let's try to see the result here okay so i get what i want so i have the full hash of the files of the files object actually in this directory so that's pretty nice so the first command that i'm going to use is actually to see the type of these objects so I will just take uh, the first uh, output here or the first first file name as an input so the command I will be using is the get cut file okay so I will specify the option minus T for type just to see what the type is so I'll take this first hash for example here here we go 
oh, it's a tree. So actually a tree contains the directory less than of a repo, okay? So it's file type. So let's see, it's second one. But this time I will take the second hash. Mm -hmm. It's a blob. So actually blob stands for binary large file. Okay, or sorry, binary large object. So it does, it just contains the content of the file. So with this blob, I can view the contents using the same command, but this time I will use actually the option minus P. P stands for print, so I can print the content of this hash file. Here we go. So you see, it just contains one line. This is a readme file. So actually, I have here a total of six objects. Okay. So let me loop through these six objects in order to find the type. So I can do that uh, very easily with a for loop. So I will go back to. Uh, here so I will type for I echo I n so I'll try to make script here okay so I'll loop through this six objects okay and I'll try to print the file type so all I have to do is just to get cut file minus t and I will provide our variable dollar i and I guess that all here we go okay so as you can see here I have uh, six objects so six outputs so I have a tree, I have a blob, I have a comet, and I have what else? That's all. <laughs> Actually, there are three types or four types of type object. There is a comet, which names actually specify a comet, a blob, which is a data actually, and a tree. But there is another type, which is the annotated tag. But here we don't have tag in our repo, so we have only this three object, three blob, and comments. Okay. So with this uh, command here, get cut file, you can actually grab the type of an object inside your repository. Okay. So that was just a brief introduction how you can use the get file command in order first to see the type of an object and second you can view it using the option minus p as always i hope it has been informative for you and i want to thank you for viewing bye bye